In this video we are considering the um, oscilloscope stress of um, current and um, the question reads, an oscilloscope is connected to a power supply, the trace is shown on a centimeter grid and you can see the centimeter grid there and the oscilloscope trace. Um, explain how you know that it is an AC supply being measured. Well there's two types of supply, you get, either get AC or you get DC. AC uh, repeatedly reverses its direction, it flows uh, one way and then the other in successive cycles and if we look at this trace here you can see that it goes up and goes down, goes up, goes down. The center line here is really the, the um, level line and can have positive above that and a negative below that. So in answer to question A uh, where it asks how explain how you know that it is an AC supply, how you know that it is an alternating current supply, we would say that the trace goes above and below the central line. So the trace goes above and below the central line. You can also add that um, it goes, in other words, from positive to negative. Uh, question B, it says, give the peak voltage if each division on the y-axis is 2 volts. So if each division is 2 volts, starting from there, that would be 1, 2. So 2 divisions of 2 volts. Um, so that would give an answer of 4 volts. So it's 2 plus 2 is 4. Question C, it says, each axis division is 0 0.01 Centimeter, uh, seconds per centimeter, so that's on the x-axis. Then it says, for part one, it says, calculate the time period of the supply. So if we're looking at the time period, we have to look at one complete wave. Now remember, one complete wave is a crest and a trough. So if we're looking at um, that, that would be one, two, three, four divisions. And if each division, so four divisions, if each division is 0 0.01 second, then that entire time period would equal to 0 0.04 seconds. So that's the answer to C1. C2 says calculate the frequency of the supply. Now we need to remember the equation for calculating frequency. Frequency equals 1 over time period. That's a small f frequency equals 1 over time period. We know what our time period is, 0 0.04. Uh, zero 0.04 seconds and so that equals to 1 over 0 0.04 seconds and that gives us an answer of 25 hertz. Finally, question D uh, says describe the position and the appearance of the trace on the screen if the supply was switched to 6 volts DC. Now uh, DC um, as opposed to AC um, only sends the current in one direction. So if it's 6 volts DC, that means that if each volt is, um, if each division is 2 volts, that would have to be 2, 4, 6. So DC would either be um, on the horizontal line, 3 divisions above uh, this line, or 3 divisions below the line, depending on uh, whether, uh, in which direction the DC current is going. 